on. Mm -hmm. Okay. This road, as you can see here, double line, meaning dotted line, you can pass it. If I were to pass, that truck would come in and kill me. Again, on curves, a double line. This should be a single solid line. It should not be a double line. I can't see what's over the hill. Now I can. But again, I can't see what's in front of me, but I could attempt to pass somebody. Now here I come down a small hill. Again, I don't know what's in front of me. I think it's kind of self-obvious how apps... Oh, look at that, a nice bus. I could have passed and gone right into the bus. I think it's kind of self-evident how absolutely dangerous this road is. Uh, we're continuing now. Uh, we started uh, just about... Oh, more cars. We started about two or three kilometers before Meron, and this thing continues towards Meron. Now again, I can pass around this curve legally, and idiots do things like that. Okay, and again I can pass around this curve, and again go on to Alamabah. As you can see, if that car were a little closer, you know it would happen. Uh, and again, I can pass around this curve, and I don't know what's in front of me here, until I get to about this point here, and then I can just barely see what's in front of me. And we continue on the road. And at this point, I guess it is safe enough that you could actually make a, a, a clean decision on, on passing. Uh, and continue filming until we get to the gas station. This is logical then, because I can see the cars coming from way in advance to know whether or not to pass or not. This has to be the most dangerous and ridiculous road in Israel. All we need to do is paint it with, with single lines, like we have right here in front of us, and nobody gets hurt. God only knows how many accidents have occurred. I and my family came within about 30 meters of getting uh, hit and destroyed by a truck on our last vacation up here. In fact, I even got a sock to say a Brachasak uh, Gomel because of how dangerous it was. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.